Uh, just, just pure spasms of 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 of. of lucidity once in a while punctuated by a lot of idiocy. The Republican-led Oversight Committee is claiming, of course, without direct evidence, that President Biden's family engaged in elaborate influence peddling schemes. The chair of that committee, Kentucky Congressman James Comer, talked about those allegations in an interview yesterday and ended up admitting they've lost contact with a submarine. Now, that's a hunt for Red October joke. With the informant who made the initial claim. You have spoken with whistleblowers. You have spoken, you also spoke with an informant who gave you all of this information. Where is that informant today? Where are these whistleblowers? Well, unfortunately, uh, we can't track down the informant. Uh, we're hopeful that the informant is still there. The whistleblower knows the informant. The whistleblower is very credible. Hold on a second, Congressman. Did you just say that the whistleblower or the informant is now missing? Well, we, we're hopeful that we can find the informant. Now, remember, these informants are, are kind of in the, the spy business, so uh, they don't make a habit of uh, being seen a lot or, or being high profile or anything like that. Nine of the ten people uh, that we've identified that have very good knowledge with respect to the Bidens. They're, they're one of three things, Maria. They're either currently in court, they're currently in jail, or they're currently missing. So, comrade, you're, you're telling me you lost another submarine? <laughs> Come on, you lost an inform You lost the informant. The guy that you claim gave you all this information that you built this entire charade on. Do you and Durham, like, do you guys have tea parties every weekend to talk about how you can destroy your reputations and your career? Durham tried this, remember? He chased conspiracy theories to try to prove that the FBI was corrupt and rigged the 2016 election. He made a fool of himself time and time and time again. And now we have lost informants. In fact, the informant that this entire charade was supposedly built on. Attorney Mark Zaid posted this on Twitter, that he's represented whistleblowers in the intelligence community for more than 25 years and never lost one. Never lost one. Um, I, I really, I don't, don't really know, Charlie, where to begin with this one, except for the fact that we had all of this, this, breathless, this breathless huffing and puffing about the FBI being corrupt and yeah. staging January the 6th and, and spying on Donald Trump. And then you had all of uh, right-wing papers, Trumpy papers, saying that Durham was proving that Hillary spied. Yeah. And then it all ended up being a lie. Oof. Durham made an absolute fool of himself and had to shut down the investigation. And now you have Comer who said... Oh, yeah, we have this, this informant who we built this entire case on, but uh, we lost him. It's more of the same. Yeah, the, uh, the hunt for the great white whale isn't going well, is it? Um, I mean, it's never a good thing when you actually lose your informant. Look, you know, James Comer has been making one big promise after another. You know, he has been saying, you know, we, we're going to have this big, big bombshell. Well, what's pretty obvious is he doesn't have the bombshell. He doesn't have the smoky gun. He doesn't have evidence. And he's lost his informant. I mean, this is beyond embarrassing. But this is what happens when you have an Internet meme and, uh, you know, a, a, a Fox News narrative that comes up against actual reality. When people say, you know, show us, show us the evidence. You have something. You've been promising us something really, really huge, something that's going to change everything. And it just doesn't happen. And James, James Comer continues to be all hat, no cattle when it comes to this investigation. And that was, by the way, when Maria Bartiromo is saying to you, are you kidding me? You don't have evidence. When Maria Bartiromo is questioning yeah. the credibility, you know how bad things yeah. are. Exactly. Yeah, and Mara, the Hunt for October is a good reference. I'm also reminded of that classic Seinfeld episode where Jerry goes to the rental car ca uh, counter and says, well, it's one thing to take the reservation, but you've also got to hold the reservation. In this case, you've also got to <laughs> hold the informant. You've got to hang on to him to make sure he actually can cooperate with your investigation. But it seems to be, furthering on Charlie's point, 
a, a moment where it just the Republican Party just seems just out of touch with what people care about. They've been promising this Biden crime family, scare quotes, investigation for a long time. And we know that there are some legal matters with Hunter Biden. That's a separate issue. And the Department of Justice, we know that's that, and that investigation is entering its end stages. But this blanket conspiracy has never gained much traction. It didn't work in 2020. What are they thinking now? First of all, listening to that conversation, I mean, it may as well, via Mad Libs, you, you, he could be talking about UFOs. I mean, we heard from them, now we don't know where they are, it's hard to keep track of them. What really are we talking about here? I mean, the interesting thing is from a disinformation perspective, this was one of the rare moments of lucidity, as Joe said a moment ago, where you actually see that the emperor has no clothes and that this is all bunk. This is based on absolutely no real evidence whatsoever. Um, because, of course, we know that you don't just miss, you know, whistleblowers just don't go missing suddenly. So this is absurd. But it's also a moment to, to recognize that most Americans have no idea. They're not clued into these, you know, uh, ginned up conspiracy theories. This is for a very small, specific audience in the Republican base that can be animated by these conspiracy theories. So I think the rest of America is going, what are you talking about? I'm looking at the price of life and living in, in this country. I'm interested in the border. I'm interested in jobs, in uh, housing insecurity, in how I'm gonna feed my kids and, and make sure that they have a better life than I did. Nobody cares about these conspiracy theories except for the small, uh, part of the Republican base that is controlling the Republican Party um, like a ventriloquist at the moment, it seems. And it's, it's a really you know, bizarre situation, not just politically, but culturally. Most Americans are thinking, what are these people talking about? Right. Completely and, out and, of touch. And they, yeah, completely out of touch. They're not talking about, like you said, they're not talking about the, the inflation. They're not talking about the issues that, that, that matter to most Americans. And when they do all of this Biden crime family thing, they do two things at the same time to their base. First thing they do is they, 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 get, they get them revved up about the Biden crime family, like a certain uh, wife of the Supreme Court justice uh, who talks about how the Biden crime family should be put on barges outside of Gitmo, showing how disconnected from reality she is. And then the second thing is, you know, they're like, oh, well, the media is biased. They won't report about the Biden crime family. Well, again, it's just like they're saying, we don't report about the FBI. You actually had Durham investigate the investigators longer than the investigation actually went on, trying to prove that the FBI, that the deep stay, that all these people somehow had, had it out for Donald Trump. And it ended up being nothing. Uh, the only thing that, ha that, that came out of that investigation was that John Durham, who had a good reputation before and destroyed his reputation, destroyed his career. And, and in this case, uh, Rev, you now have uh, the same thing. Oh, why aren't you talking about the Hunter Biden laptop? Why aren't you talking about this? Why aren't you talking about that? I'll just say what I've said all the time. Uh, uh, I've said here time and again, you know, right now, Hunter Biden's being investigated by the Justice Department for, uh, I think, uh, tax issues. Hunter Biden's charged. Okay, Hunter Biden's charged. I mean, you know, it's crazy. Other than Trumpists, most Americans believe that no man or woman is above the law. So if he's arrested, if he's tried, if he's guilty, if he goes to jail, we'll all say, well, it's, you know, it's too bad. But that's a system. Unlike Republicans, who basically say they're going to burn down American democracy if somebody on the Republican side is actually brought to justice for crimes that they've committed. That's the big difference here. But you see, once again, with Comer, just like Durham had nothing on the FBI, Comer has nothing on this supposed Biden crime family deal that the Trump right absolutely obsess about. 